Watch out, next day now, and I'm up Soy 11. And I thought I'd pop up here in uh, search of a certain street food stall that I've used before, um, must be a good couple of years ago now. And I just popped up here, I thought I'll have a walk up here and see if it's still here. And, safe to say it still is, and it's just in front of, here, let me show you, this building here, it's just in front of this building here, and it's this one here. And I remember they do some really good bowl of joke, or also known as congee, which I've just had. And I can tell you now, it's as good as it ever was. So I've just had a bowl of that. 60 baht was the total. Um, so not too bad. Nice filling bowl of uh, nice warm congee in the morning. Uh, always starts the day off well. Um, so uh, if you're up this way, do pop along and have a bowl. They, they do other things as well, pork rice and other things like that, but that's what I like on this stall personally. Uh, yes, so just add that, so that's good. Uh, let's walk down here a little bit. Um, what's it, this, what is the time? Oh, quarter to 10, so I'll get back to the hotel, I'll walk back down, uh, because there's a little bridge walkway goes over, so I can get back to Soy 10 quite easily. Um, so I'm going to go back now, get on the scooter, I want to head out to a museum which is um, over the west side of town, over the river. Um, I think I'll pop over there today and do that. Oh, let's walk down here, mind the traffic. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'll just walk down here for a bit and then um, back to the hotel. So let's... Um, have a quick walk down here anyway obviously it's only quarter to ten in the morning but uh, things are starting to come alive down here obviously this, the street food stalls are started up for breakfasts and what have you so we'll have a walk down anyways it's always busy he's doing tours look not for me thank you cub no, I've never used any one of them blokes for anything like that. Always fancy going on my own and finding my own way. But each to their own. Oh, this is um, obviously moving because this whole block has now been uh, bought up for something else. So Sook 11 is now moving to Soy 22. So it'll be 11 on 22. So I've used this place before, Not, but it wasn't bad for a, a bit of an evening meal, but uh, going up to Soy 22 now, as you can see from that. <clears throat> so this whole block, all of this lot, and where Cheap Charlie's was, let me walk down there, has all been uh, bought up. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I uh, don't know what the idea was for all of this lot. I'm not sure if it's... Um, going to be another massive hotel or some sort of complex or or flats or as they call them out here condos in my country it's a block of flats yeah, everyone's telling telling customers where they're moved to now various locations up and down the circumvit road stalls down here so this behind this corrugated iron would be where you walk in and where cheap Charlie's would have been obviously not now so obviously now a couple of street food stalls are taking advantage of that and they put their pitch there a few more foods on offer there look oh nice boiled eggs there and a couple inside here. Various wares there. Look, oh, this one's got quite a range on offer here. Look, that one, that one looks a good one. So pop up here. This is just outside the Zanzibar. There you go. Get an idea of where we are. And then we're down, coming down the end nearly now.
all day breakfast in here as well, look, available. So if you fancy it, you can sit there in the garden terrace for the Zanzi bar. There you go, another option for you in the mornings. Exchange there, which is handy. Depending on what rates they're offering, of course. Now down this end you get all the, uh, we're obviously out with customers at the minute, we get a lot of bike taxis sit down here. So if you want to get anywhere fast, there's usually a, a few standing around here ready to take you anywhere. Let's just uh, try and cross over here, because, there you go. Right, over here, might have show, I did show you before in another vlog, but uh, just inside there, look, that little bar there does some amazing smoothies, I can tell you, and they are a big size, or they always used to be. It used to be a really big size smoothie, really nice. So uh, that's another thing for you. And for those blokes who need that bit of a pick-me-up, shall we say, you've got your uh, marital, extra marital aids on offer here. So uh, if you need that little bit of a pick-me-up, go there and get your uh, potions to, <laughs> to help you along a bit. I don't need them, but I mean, some people do. Uh, right, so now we're back on the Convict Road. So the morning scene at the minute. Noisy as ever. Soy 11 1. I think I've been up here before. I think there used to be a little, um, let's just poke our head in here a little bit. More street food on offer here. I think there used to be a cafe just up on the left here. There, yeah, yeah, that's it, Maxim's Restaurant. Which I'm not sure if it's anything to do with Maxim's um, Inn. But I've had a breakfast in there before. Me and Ratty are sitting there and uh, had a breakfast before. That's not too bad in the mornings either. Got a little range on offer, Western and a bit of Thai fusion. So that's not too bad. I think that's the Grand Swiss down the end there. Another entrance to it, I think. Let's just zoom in a bit, shall we? Yeah, that's the back end of the Grand Swiss, or one entrance to the Grand Swiss. Down there. But yeah, in the mornings, another option for you if you want a bit of breakfast. Scoot in here, Story 11 1, Maxims. And also, incidentally, there's the alley. That's the back end of the alley where that's a uh, little place does the smoothies. So you can cut in that way afterwards to get yourself a nice smoothie. Right, so, let's just get back on the uh, Secumbit Road here. Get your glasses here. A few wallets there. Cases, various cases, bags, and that there look, is the uh, walkway that goes over, and that's how I got across from Soy 10. One of the rattly old buses there. Right, so I am going to now go back to the hotel and get me helmet, jump on a scooter, and go to my next location. So when I get there, you'll see where I've gone. So for now, catch you later.